Both the Drake Relays and Iowa Spring Football wrapped up this weekend. That's right, and for results on the races in the game, Alyssa Bergmini is standing by in the Daily Iowa TV Sports Studio. Alyssa? Hey guys, and welcome back to the Daily Iowa TV Sports Studio. I'm Alyssa Bergamini. On this Monday evening of the program, we'll tell you how women's track performed at the Drake Relays, and we'll hear later from Gary Dolphin. But first, we're bringing back the whip around. Kicking things off for the whip around, I'll toss it to our own reporters who are all out on the field. Guys, take it away. Thanks and welcome to a special ladies edition of the whip around. The Iowa women's golf team was in French Lake, Indiana this weekend for their Big Ten championships where they carded a plus 18 in their final round to end up in ninth place. Senior Carly Grewinkle recorded her tournament best for her final round as a Hawkeye. Her plus one performance earned her 13th place on the leaderboard, making this her third top 20 finish of the season. Now, the, women, the women's golf team wasn't the only Hawkeye sport that was in their Big Ten championship this weekend, so was women's tennis. So for a look at that, let's toss it over to Taylor Axelson. Taylor? Thanks, Whitney. The tennis team also struggled this weekend as they were in Evanston for the Big Ten tournament. The ladies were up against 17th ranked and first seeded Michigan, and Michigan dominated early right off the bat as they secured the doubles in back-to-back -back wins. Shelby Talcott was the only Hawkeye to have a victory the entire weekend, so they ended up losing in the quarterfinals 4-1. to one. Let's toss it over to Rachel Bedell as she'll tell us all about the softball team. Rachel? Thanks, Taylor. The women's softball team was in Bloomington this weekend to finish the tied series against Indiana. The Hawkeyes had two solo home runs from Megan Blank and Aaron Erickson. Pitcher Kayla Massey finished the game 3-2 with four strikeouts to close the series. This is the third Big Ten series win for the Hawkeyes of the season, and they will be at Pearl Field this week, taking on Western Illinois on Tuesday. That's it for the special ladies edition of the Whip Around. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for that. Iowa football spring practice coming to an end with the conclusion of the spring game. And concluding our spring coverage, we bring in the voice of the Hawkeyes himself, Gary Dolphin. Gary, the Iowa offense has had their struggles in the past under new offensive coordinator Greg Davis. Can we expect a different story this season? I think that Greg Davis, uh, you know, whether it's the third year or the first year, he's still got to have the personnel to, to employ the offense. And, and frankly, Iowa's not had uh, all the bullets in the chamber they needed for that passing game. And I think they're there now. With all the pieces coming together, both offensively and defensively, can you make the case for Iowa taking the Western Division? Thanks for that, Gary. The Drake Relays wrapping up events Saturday. I'm now joined by our own women's track beat reporter, Katrina Doe, who is out in Des Moines covering the Relays. The women's 4x100 were the biggest winners of the Relays, winning the event by just .01 of a second. But quite the mix-up right before the event happened. Well, Montella Holder sprained her leg the day before on Friday of the Drake Relays, so everyone was kind of unsure whether or not she was going to be able to compete at the finals on Saturday. And, you know, 15 minutes before the race, they had to make a major decision whether or not to put someone else in for Holder. And they decided to put Alexis Hernandez in, and it was really, it was kind of shaky. Um, she had never given the baton to Brown, but, you know, it ended up, Turning yeah, out, yeah, so, yeah, um, but yeah, surprising finish. They won by one one hundredth of a second. So, yeah, it was an exciting meet. And like you said, a surprising finish for the four by hundred, who also set a new school record. But how did the other tracksters match up? You know, for the women's team, I think on the track overall they did really well. Especially the relay teams on the field might need a little bit more work, but I think it's important to remember how young of a team this is, so a lot of room for improvement. This is true, and thank you to Katrina. And then it'll do it for us here in the Daily Iron TV Sports Studio. Tune in tomorrow where we'll continue our coverage of the Drake Relays with a special Tuesday edition of Five Things. Hannah, Gabriella, back to the desk.